Hello, my name is Travis Monk. This is one of a series of videos on classification and evolution. In this video, I will provide an overview of scientific hypotheses, theories, and laws. Many people have misconceptions about what a scientific theory or a scientific law is, and this video will address the difference between the two, the process by which scientific theories and laws are made, and to introduce the theory of evolution by natural selection. The graphic on this slide simplifies how scientific hypotheses, theories, and laws all fit together. In the unit on the scientific method, we discussed hypotheses. In review, a hypothesis is an idea, proposition, or expectation as to what you imagine will happen in an experiment. Anyone can, and you have, made numerous hypotheses in science classes. One key component to a hypothesis is that they must be falsifiable, or they must be able to be proven wrong. You don't prove a hypothesis right, but you can support your hypothesis with data. A scientific theory is a coherent explanation for how or why something works and is based upon a tremendous body of evidence. As this slide suggests, it's firmly based upon evidence in a number of different circumstances by a number of different scientists over a considerable period of time. Finally, a scientific law is a general description or observation on how things in the world always occur. These principles apply to any circumstance imaginable. Newton's third law, for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction, is an excellent example. Newton and billions of people since have observed that if you apply force to something, an equal force is applied in the opposite direction. There is no attempt to explain why this occurs. A scientific law just describes what happens. In popular use, a theory is often assumed to imply mere speculation. But in science, something is not called a theory until it has been confirmed over many independent experiments. Scientific theories and scientific laws are different things, but this doesn't mean that they can be dismissed as something that's uncertain. Evolution can be defined as a shift in the allele frequency in a population over many generations. In more understandable language, it's a change in how common certain traits are in a large group of organisms over a long period of time. Evolution does occur, and there's not a shred of a doubt about it. There are many examples that humans can see with their own eyes in just a matter of days. The scientific theory of evolution includes an explanation of how it occurs through natural selection which is commonly referred to as the survival of the fittest. That is the end of this video, providing a background of scientific hypotheses, theories, and laws, as well as the theory of evolution by natural selection. If you're interested in learning more about evolution and classification, or any other themes of biology, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.